A cruel twist strikes a local teenager who lost a friend to cancer last year. And now, like her friend who wowed a crowd at Fenway Park by singing God Bless America, she's using her voice to bring awareness to a rare disease. I would assume reporter Walt Buteau is in Portsmouth with tonight's street story. Kerrigan is named after a New Hampshire mountain and is now facing quite a climb with courage she saw in another kid from Portsmouth. Awesome. Long before Kerrigan, Nelson picked her prom dress and packed into a stretch limo with her friends. She was doing what she could to help her classmate Hannah Wharton's battle leukemia. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> but Nelson never imagined she'd be wearing a wig to prom. Nope, I had never pictured in a million years that I'd be bald. Or... She tells us it was still a blast. <laughs> and not only because, like Hannah, Waiting on the other side. she can make her own music. I did have a lot of fun, yes. <laughs> I was excited because there was cheese there, like a huge thing of cheese, and I had my friend who brought me to... <laughs> that brought laughs from the other room. I had like 28 cheese? pieces of cheese. How many? Like 28 pieces of cheese. <laughs> Nelson is an eight-time Taekwondo gold medalist, but when her left leg was surprisingly sore, she refused to believe the initial diagnosis that it was a sports injury. Along with her parents, she pushed for more information, feeling the influence of Hannah, who passed away in August at the age of 15. Then four months ago, a baseball-sized tumor was discovered near Nelson's left knee and diagnosed as a rare bone cancer, osteosarcoma. Like my heart dropped and I was actually in disbelief and my dad broke down. I'm still in shock, actually. Her 60 days in the hospital have included a room where Hannah was also treated and she felt her there. Things were falling over in my room. Like the door was opening and closing by itself. Like the curtain went up and then back down. I was like, what is going on? Like, this is really weird. And it kind of just feels like she's by my side, guiding guiding me, like look, looking down at me, saying like, you got this girl, like I'll be with you. What so proudly we As Nelson practices the national anthem the for an event to honor a local veteran, she also hopes to promote the importance of early detection for all cancers. And even if it's just nothing, you still want to be on the safe side. So many people have it worse. Hannah had it a lot worse than me, and she was able to stay positive. I have a really big chance to fight. I just love life. Making me like think about how I could lose my life just makes me want to fight more. Her treatment will involve four more months of chemo, but she tells us she knows she will not be doing it alone. In Portsmouth, Walt Utah, Eyewitness News.